Today in Health Check, a very personal story. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and let's face it, most women know the warnings about getting regular screenings like mammograms, and they know the advice to do self-breast exams. But sometimes it's a personal story that drives home the importance of being vigilant. And today, we want to share the story of an Oklahoma businesswoman and mother of three, Jamie Duque. Jamie's joining me right now in the studio. And the fact of the matter is she was so young that you didn't you didn't reach the 40 year mark when they they recommend that you start having mammograms but jamie you you felt a lump and that's what happened that's what started this whole thing i did i felt a lump it took me a couple months before i actually went to go see the doctor with the encouragement of my family and friends i did finally make that visit and i'm so thankful that i did and i was diagnosed with cancer a day after my 37th birthday oh my gosh so very young and this is a very unique type of cancer very aggressive yes i have Stage three, triple negative invasive ductal carcinoma. Uh, the triple negative, it is more aggressive in nature. Uh, it affects about 20 to 10 to 20 percent of all breast cancer. Um, the triple negative, most breast cancers can be treated through hormone therapy or Herceptin. The triple negative, unfortunately, um, is lacks the progesterone, estrogen, and HER2 receptors. So it does limit the types of treatment available. Uh, it limits it basically to chemotherapy, surgery, and radiation, which I will probably do all three. With so my you'll cancer. probably have double mastectomies I will. as a way to, to get rid of some of the danger here. Yes, it does have a high reoccurrence rate. So to be proactive, I probably will do the double mastectomy. Now you have three children. How are they I taking this? Start with the baby. My youngest is five. His name is Will, and he's so sweet. He really doesn't understand it. He knows I'm going to lose my hair, and that's his. We're looking at a picture of him now. <laughs> <laughs> what a smile. He just keeps telling everyone that I'm going to be bald, and we he's our troublemaker, so we warn the teacher if he ever comes to school with a wig on to make sure they give me a call. <laughs> and my next is Ben, and he's seven, and he's the most caring and loving and makes sure that he gives me hugs every single day. And my oldest, my beautiful daughter, Caitlin, uh, she keeps me thinking about other things. She tries to make me laugh and keeps me encouraged every single day. And being day. 14, it must be difficult for her because that's such a tender age anyway. It is. She doesn't like to deal with the emotion part of it, so she does try to avoid the topic. Um, but she knows what's going on and she just knows that she needs to be there for mom. And you have been so on top of this once you found out because knowing chemotherapy might make her lose her hair, you donated your hair to, to Locks of Love. I did and that was very important to me. If I have to go through this, I want to make sure that I can help other people. And as well. tomorrow you start chemotherapy. I do. Through this several week ordeal so far, what has been the most fearful for you? Being on TV, <laughs> really? Well, <No. laughs> um, chemotherapy is the is the scariest thing for me. I'm very f scared about losing my hair, and if I I know I'm going to be fine, and I can I can push the rest of that to the back of my mind that I will make it through this. Um, so now it's just one step at a time, getting through each treatment, and being there in the end. Well, if we can just have one woman go ahead and get the mammogram that she's been putting off. This was all worth it. Absolutely. Even though you didn't want to be on television. We <laughs> so appreciate it. And know that by being here, you have the prayers of everybody who's watching, and that's bound to help. Yeah. So we'll be following you, and good luck. Thank Best you so luck. much. Now, if you'd like more information about Jamie's story, she has a website set up by friends and loved ones. They hope it'll be a way to not only help Jamie and her family, but also to educate and encourage you. We have a link at kfor.com slash links. Well, Mike continues to track significant rainstorms in the state, promising a wet start to Halloween. Huh, Mike?